Hey everyone, today I have a review for an application on the MacBook that I believe will uh, save a lot of people. Um, the application will extract music from your iPod that you did not purchase. Um, you know, if you plug your iPod into a computer that you do not have your music on or that you did not sync it from, it would, and it, you say like, transfer purchases it'll only transfer the music that you bought um from itunes so let's say you bought music from amazon or rhapsody or any other music place they will not be transferred and if you would go into finder or microsoft explorer you will not find them in there but if you download this um application um it'll extract every single song that you have on your iPod so that you could put it on your computer and save your iTunes library. So, um, first I will show you guys the website. It is xpod.joynt.net Um, pretty much, I, I never really read this stuff, but I just click download and once it's finished downloading it's here in your downloads folder I don't need Safari anymore uh, so here it is just open that up and if you're planning to keep this application which I'm really not because I haven't lost my iPod library I just found this on the internet and thought I'd do a review on it um, just open it up and it always asks for that just click open and there it found my iPod and um, this expands if you have more than one uh, has all my um, playlist over there and here are all my songs um, like most of these I did not purchase from iTunes because of that dollar thirty per song crap um, So, let me see here. I actually did not try this yet, but okay, here. Uh, Jack's Mannequin, um, Dark Blue. I did not buy this song, so I will hit Extract. Um, here you can change all this stuff. Uh, I'll just type in Jack. So then it would be jack.mp3. Choose, and I will just click desktop. Obviously, you'd put that in your iTunes folder if you want to. And just choose extract. And right there, it's done. Um, so pretty much, if you would just like hold in, um, just hold, hold in or click and just drag all your files uh, you could do them all at once I guess or maybe not I guess this would be fine for a couple of songs you know if you just lost one or two and then they're backed up on your iPod but I don't believe that this would be the one f to use for a lot um, I had found some other ones, so maybe I'll do some reviews on those. Uh, just look at my channel. Okay, so here is the MP3. So as you can see, it worked. It completely extracted it from my iPod onto my desktop. And it 
it's here in iTunes. So, right there. Pretty much kept the same quality. Um, it the quality didn't degrade at all. Um, so if yeah, if you lost a couple songs, I would recommend this program to use to extract it from your iPod. Like I said before, iTunes just transfers music that you bought from iTunes. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you.